Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. Thank you for stopping by today. In this video, we're taking a look at a super budget-friendly dress watch from the micro brand Gallant. This is the piece right here. This is called the Debonair, and I'm excited to have this watch on the channel, first of all, and mainly because my friend David Shorts had a hand in designing this watch right here and i think that is so cool so shout out to david if you don't know his channel check him out and he has a few videos on this piece he goes into a lot more detail than i'm going to in this video so please check out his videos i'll link them in the description below he's a great guy and i think again it's just so neat that he had a hand in designing this elegant little dress piece and it is super budget friendly, comes in at around $40 on Amazon. And so you're, if you're in the market, don't have a lot of money to spend, but you're looking for a dress type watch, this might be a good place to look with this debonair from Gallant. So in this video, we're just gonna go over some of the specs and features. I will break out the calipers. We'll get some real time dimensions on this watch. I'll throw it on my wrist, but this isn't really a full review. I'm calling it just an overview type video. I'll share some likes and dislikes as well toward the end. And then I have something special to share also about this watch at the end. So please stay tuned for that. But let's jump right into it. The Seiko VH31 is used in here and you can see this is unique quartz movement. It's not ticking at one tick per second, but it's actually four ticks per second or two hertz and so it has a unique look it's of course not a, a smooth sweep as you might see on an, a lot of automatic watches but it's not that one tick per second either so uh, gives it a semi uh, automatic feel even though it is a quartz movement they are using a mineral crystal here it is domed doesn't seem like there is any ar coating um, i could be wrong on that but it seems quite reflective uh, the case you can see has a polished look. It is an alloy plated case, so you want to keep that in mind. And, uh, you know, as I go through this review, we just have to keep the price point of this watch in mind as well. It's a $40 watch, so we can't compare it to a watch that is $200 or more. We have to, to keep the price point in mind when we're talking about a piece like this. But for the price, I honestly think uh, you're getting a lot for your money with this watch. Beautiful blue sunray dial here. They do have a couple other colorways also, but uh, I really like this blue uh, with the white uh, printed on Breguet numbers that are there. Uh, you get some uh, outer uh, little dots on the outside of the dial for some indices that can help you keep track of the seconds and minutes as well. Uh, the handset here is a nice polished handset, very slim and sleek, which goes with the overall look of this watch and, and makes it very elegant. Nice uh, second hand there with an open circle uh, counterbalance, as you can see. And I think it is a good looking, simple piece right here. Push pull crown. It is signed with the Gallant logo, um, and I think the dimension of the crown fits well with this watch. Now, speaking of dimensions, let's break out the caliper and see what calipers. Let's see what we're working with here for this watch. We'll check the case diameter first, coming right in at 41 millimeters. Case thickness, including the domed crystal, I'm measuring 10.6 right there. Lug tip to lug tip distance coming in 47.5 and then the lug opening is 20 millimeters. There is 50 meters of water resistance on a watch like this. I think that is great usually for a dress watch. It's usually not more than 30 meters. And so I like to see that nice engraved case back. You can see Gallant has a uh, they're saying here on the back, it says, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. I like that. I like the kind of farmland picture as well that they've 
engraved on the back. I also like the strap that they put on this watch. It matches really nice with the blue dial and surprisingly it is a nice leather strap. It has quick release spring bars which I always like to see and a nice stainless steel buckle polished and signed with gallant right there. Let me throw this on my six and a half inch wrist and we'll get a quick wrist shot. There it is on my six and a half inch wrist. Feels good. I am on the last hole on the strap for me, but it fits nice, feels nice. A little on the larger side for a dress watch. I would prefer probably around 38 millimeters 37 millimeters for a dress piece for me, but I don't think it's too big. And I think this will work for a lot of people. So if you're interested in buying this piece, I think it is good value for money. The link to Amazon where you can purchase this will be in the description below. So check that out if you're interested. My likes and dislikes with this watch. First of all, my likes, I really think it looks good. It is a good looking, elegant, elegant looking dress piece. Very simple, but I like that in a dress watch. I think a dress watch should be fairly simple in its design. I like the dial. They've really done a good job with the sun ray pattern here on this dial. It looks wonderful. And I do like the strap on this watch, as I mentioned. Uh, but uh, one of my dislikes is there's only seven points of adjustment. So if you have smaller wrists than mine, six and a half inches, uh, you're going to have a hard time getting a good fit because I was on the last hole. So I would have liked to have seen maybe a couple more holes for adjustment there. Another like about this watch is the price. Wow, $40 for a watch like this I think is quite amazing. I'm not sure how they do that and how they can make money on these pieces uh, but this is uh, wow if you were to buy this a, a well spent forty dollars in my opinion some of my dislikes uh, are the alloy case but again we have to keep in mind it is a forty dollar watch so uh, just take these dislikes with a grain of salt but of course we all would prefer a solid stainless steel case i think Again, the adjustments on the, the strap, I need a few more of those. And then I would have liked to seen maybe some AR coating here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody knows, there might be some AR coating here, but doesn't seem like it. So I would have liked to seen some of that on the crystal on this watch to help with uh, the readability and that reflection uh, when you're trying to read the time. Uh, you guys let me know what you think of this piece down in the comments below. So I said wait till the end. What's the, the big news about this watch? Well, you might have guessed it. I'm going to be giving it away. So I thank Gallant for sending this watch into the channel. And I don't think it has a place in my collection, even though that I think it is a great piece for $40. But I want to pass it on to someone who might enjoy it even more than me. So all you have to do is comment down in this video. Uh, it doesn't matter what you comment. Just leave any comment and you'll be entered in to win this watch. If you happen not to want to be in the giveaway but still want to comment, that's fine. Just let me know that uh, you'd, you'd rather not enter the giveaway and then I'll choose someone else. Uh, but that's it, just leave a comment and then in a week or two, uh, I'll choose a winner randomly and I'll get in contact with you and ship this beautiful, elegant, budget-friendly dress piece out to you. So it's that simple. Share this video with your friends if you think they might be interested in entering to win this watch right here. And again, share your comments, what you think about it down below. And please like this video, it really helps out and I really appreciate that. But that's it for today here on the Town Watch. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time.